A missing persons case closed with a murder confession out of the blue more than 14 years later. News 13 investigative reporter Ann Perret sifted through all the audio and video of that confession to show you how police weren't so sure about his story until they started pulling up the floorboards. Ann? Roswell police get suspicious at one point, wondering if Tony Peralta is making all of this up because he can't remember every detail. But the ones he does end up leading them right to his landlord's body. One 911 call. Sir, tell me exactly what happened. Well, I killed somebody. You killed somebody? Yes, sir. With a casual confession made from a stranger's phone at a gas station. Here you go. Puts an end to a 14-year mystery. What's your name, sir? Tony Peralta. And who is the person that you killed, Tony? His name is Bill. Bill, whose full name is William Blodgett, was reported missing to Roswell police more than a decade ago. It's the middle of a Monday afternoon earlier this month. A very calm Peralta waits on the curb for officers to arrive. I'm just tired of covering it up. Already. Try to cover it up? Yeah. Okay. I'm tired of living with my life, sir. The guilt? Yeah, yeah. The officer asks if Peralta will take him to where he buried Blodgett. Let's go. Okay. Without being told, Peralta puts his hands behind his back to be cuffed. As he's walked to a patrol car, he thanks the officers. Thank you guys. Yep. It's the first of many thank yous throughout his arrest. Peralta's driven to the Roswell Police Department, where he tells them he's taken blood pressure pills and a drink to get up the nerve to come forward. Did it happen at the house? It did. It did? I was, I was on meth really bad. Okay. And I killed him because he didn't give me no money. And I buried him in his house. Because he can't remember the address, Peralta agrees to help them locate the house. We later find out he lived there too. Blodgett was his landlord. In his early 20s, Peralta rented a room in Blodgett's house. It's right here. The next house. This white one? This white one here? Yeah. I buried him in that slight place right here. The area that looks like a room added on to the home. Now that they have the address, police match it to an old report on William Blodgett's disappearance, which shows they were suspicious of Peralta then and even searched the house. Why didn't they smell his body in there? I don't know. It's a good question. Blodgett's son reported him missing in January 2009, saying he hadn't been seen since Christmas Eve. Court records reveal police used a cadaver dog on the property days after he disappeared. And a detective interviewed Peralta because a witness told police Blodgett had accused Peralta of stealing his wallet and trying to evict him. But the report states neither the dog nor Peralta gave police any leads. They closed the case. But what part of that room? The left side. The left side? Yeah, if you dig in, if you pull the board up and dig them up. And sure enough, with a shovel and flashlights, officers get to work doing just that. Let's pull this out. Let's see what Let's see you can get it with the shovel. It takes some time, but they eventually realize Peralta was telling the truth. Oh no, that's a shoot. Yep, I think it is. There's the, like, I think it's the boot. Oh, that's oh the check that. Yep. 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 That boot has bones in it. While they wait for the search warrant to continue collecting remains, Peralta is driven back to the station. Police have more questions. I just don't want to talk anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, talk your shoulders out, man. Peralta starts to let go of 14 years of guilt. I know this is probably the, a, big, a big hard decision you had to make. You've been thinking about it for a while. Every day. The detective tries to get more information from Peralta, and he repeatedly says he can't remember. But he does eventually admit 
He used a screwdriver to kill the 69-year-old. You got family in town here? Yeah. That's why I wanted to confess for him. They don't, you know, nothing happens to them. It was my fault for my son. You know. The detective tells Peralta this should bring some closure to Blodgett's family. I saw them that he was a good man and I should have did what I did. He was always good to me and I took his life for no reason. And I don't have an excuse. Online court records show Peralta has been arrested four times by Roswell police over the years, but none of those were for violent crimes. He's now charged with first degree murder. Back to you. What a story. Thank you, Anne. Roswell police did locate all of William Blodgett's body along with the cell phone. His dentures were used to confirm his identity.